And boom, East. Oh, oh man, this is uh, not looking too good. Tony K with a nade. Man, that nade sent the cross. Beautifully executed by Vampire Esports, Tony K. And now look at this. Okay, that awakened the other members of uh, Face Cat. Mela is going to come in right now. Tony K will win the one we all fight. But Mama from behind will make sure that Tony K pays for it. Oh man, here we go. Oh, we are starting to have some pretty intense action here coming from the teams. We've got Stone charging in. Gets more, man. Getting damage oh. as well by Boom. Oh, man. Boom Esports had to be the finish. But now we have Face Clan still active. Boom Esports on the other side. But we're going to change our screens here to Hail Esports now. Against T2K on the northern side. Hail Esports. We have NC2 in the circle. Four vertical fires are pinned down by T2K. Four vertical fires is the only team on the outside circle at this moment. Vulnerable spot for the guys of uh, four vertical fires. Um, and it's gonna be hard, you know, to penetrate the circle considering that there's a lot of teams pointing their guns at them, making it impossible for four vertical fires to actually get into the zone. And there you go. Riff was already on the ground. Demo of IHC was taken down by Faze, and it's Riff was. Again, up against Tiger of Hail, man. Four Miracle Vibes, unfortunately. Man, they're out of the game. And there goes the music. Now that we are down to our final three teams remaining. T2K, FaZe, and Boom. Man, and uh, now top three teams, ladies and gentlemen. T2K with the full squad against two for FaZe Cannon. Two from Boom Esports. Razy out of a first ace. Probably the same case for Frenzy as well. That's why he's not healing up. Oh, there you go. He managed to heal up. And Razy got one first aid out of the hands of a frenzy. So they managed to share it up. So now they're both a reset. Nonsense! With a mini 14, we'll keep an eye on to the two members of Boom Esports. Yeah, he has a mini 14. I, I would have gone for like an AR or something, you know, just to make sure that I will do a massive spray up against uh, two players of Boom Esports. But hey, you do you, man. Okay, so he has a mini 14 and a DBS. That's a. Uh, that's pretty hard. Okay, but here comes the attack now. Razy leading the charge. Frenzy just behind them providing support for Frenzy has taken oh. a lot of damage and Razy goes down and that is it for the guys of Boom Esports. Oh, we're still looking for more? Oh no, this is T2K versus Face now. Yep, the last two teams, two members of T2K versus the entire squad of T2K. Face Clan with two members against the entire squad. T2K with answers now down. One last player left. It's going to be Nine Noise against the world, and they know where he is. He's super duper low right now. T2K. We should be able to give back to the fans. Oh. And there you go. This is for the fans who voted for them to be in the grand finals. T2K. This chicken dinner is again for the fans. You know what they said? Okay, we're not going to end the day number one without showing. Uh, Clash of Giants Season 4, who we truly are. And you know what, Sir I do remember the fact that T2K, um, in the previous season, right? Um, I'm not sure if it was like Season 2, Season 3, or Season 1, but I, I'm, I'm sure of the fact that they've dominated this lobby. They've already, uh, they were crowned champions at some point, so, uh, we'll just have to confirm that with production. But yeah, you're looking at the, uh, the former champions of Clash of Giants. And with uh, 10 eliminations for T2K, so that's 20 points for the boys of T2K. With rules, the new player in the lineup also putting up an insane performance. Look at the uh, damage uh, taken and also this down. He did a lot of work for them. But Turu Love came in with the most knocks here. So T2K, man, with this chicken dinner, oh, this will definitely boost them up a lot. And uh, it's, a, it's a big repay back to the fans. I'm very happy to see T2K scoring the chicken dinner in day one. Yeah, and uh, I'm looking at Escalera. Okay, this is a new name for this guy right here. Mm. But I do know he is Jane, right? Mm, Am I right? Yeah. yeah, it is Jane. Okay, so Team So what? He, he, he loves to uh, change names. I don't understand this guy. But yeah, Team So Watch, ladies and gents, it's... Uh, T2K, Train to Kill, of course, uh, getting the winner with the Chicken Dinner. We've got FaZe Clan, we've got four Miracle Vibes, and of course, the Wolf Pack, Boom Esports. Well, speaking about the name change, right? So, like, what our colleagues from uh, the Indonesia broadcast, even they say that, oh, these players like to change their names all the time, you know, it gives <laughs> us a headache. So, yeah, well, it is what it is. So, yeah, they're having fun doing that to us in a way to torture the casters. 
But for the head-to-head uh, team, so of course we're going to compare the number one, number two team to T2K. Lesser damage than Face Clan, but the same amount of elimination. So that is, yes. in other words, efficiency. Oh, correct. It just means that, you know, for the side of Face Clan, they were able to shut down more players. It's just that they weren't able to uh, translate that one into an elimination form, but still. Um, uh, good performance coming from both of the teams here. Uh, most valuable player goes to True Love with T2K, uh, having to put up 50% total team contribution. So that is half right there. Five elimination points, 887 damage output. Outstanding performance once again for T2K, doing the crowd a fan service. Speaking about outstanding performance, Doc is back up here again. Together with Onsens from Face Clan and Haidami from Leo Esports. I mean, we have seen Dog uh, multiple times now in this sort of stat, so I wouldn't be surprised by the end of the day, a Dog would be the top leader in the MVP board. Oh, there's no doubt about that award. I mean, he'd be, he has been racking points uh, from the get go, and I just know that even though for America vibes, um, um, I, I mean, it's the same, right? 4MV had already won two chicken dinners, so when it comes to aggression and uh, becoming, you know, the beast that we expect them to be, I think they're not disappointing their fans. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately for Hora, Esports, and BTR, two of the teams with a huge fan base yeah. not getting any points at all this time around. Uh, looking for a comeback in the following. As of uh, this stats, although it's a bigger map, sometimes we'd expect to have uh, more throwables used, but the amount of throwables are pretty much the same as the Arango map. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, you know, a, a decline in numbers when it comes to the uh, throwables for your crowd. This is not the kind of stats that uh, we are uh, that we have gotten used to, right? But here we go for Miracle Vibes, ladies and gents. Two winner winner chicken dinners and the amount of gap that they have up against IHC Esports is humongous. Um, Horror Esports, M90, 2K, Boom, Face, and Falcons Force. So far, these are your top eight teams for the Grand Finals. And again, I, Red Queen Gaming, will be focusing on the first pager since, uh, you know, um, that's the, the, the page that uh, you just want to pay close attention to because that's all that matters. Yeah, but uh, well, we still have a lot more games to go. So, base two teams, they could still make a comeback here. Yeah. Vampire mm -hmm. was still rooted at number 16. But the news is that nobody is at a single digit now. Everyone is yes, on sir. a double digit at least. So, it just shows the quality of the teams that are playing in the Grand Finals. And nobody is left out behind. But of course, um, there are... Uh, well, if I want to talk about like, oh, this big team is on page number two. Everybody is a big team, so... Uh, they are. Well, it's a competition at the end of the day, so somebody has to, you know, drop the points.